Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to my show. At this very first moment, I'm announcing once more that this Thursday, May 11th, I'm going to be attending the Gator Vocal Band of Spring Tour in Pasadena, Texas. You cannot miss. I'm going to try to reach Bill. I'm going to try to talk to him and the Gator Vocal Band because I have uh, three very special questions that I would love Bill to answer to me. Those questions are all related to his uh, musical ministry all over these years. And uh, you cannot miss any of those questions. Those are really special, are very uh, specific about his musical ministry. And I would like to discover, probably never in his life, Bill had these sort of questions that I want to make to him. So at the very first moment, I just want to be there by the will of God and be in front of this, who I consider the greatest uh, gospel influencer in the history of gospel music. Bill Gaither is um, one of those persons that you will ever find in a very humble and uh, charismatic way at the very same time. I just love the way Bill has introduced many artists to the gospel music world. And just going back a little bit in Bill Gaither's life, I need to say that for me, knowing the Gaither vocal band in the very half part of my life, it was the way I got involved in the musical world. Some people ask me, well, sometimes when I uh, sing in a shower, or I go by singing, where did you get this from? And I will, I will always answer to that question on a very, uh, on a very happy way. And it's just because of the Gaither vocal band, the way they harmonized and the way that they performed every time. I learned a lot of music. I learned how to project my voice and how to make people to feel lift up with every performance I made in my life, if I made one that was actually good to listen to. Um, I need to remind that the very first video from the Gaithers that I ever heard, it was It Is Well With My Soul in the Billy Graham reunion. Um, when I listened to David Phelps um, and Wesley Pritchard, that was the first interpreter I, he I heard from the Gaither music series. It will be very special to be there in front of this man that is almost 90 years old and has dedicated all his life to um, grow up the gospel music heritage. Of course, we can never talk about Bill Gaither without talking about Gloria Gaither. That lady is just amazing the first lady in gospel music and how gloria has been the one writing and composing the songs many times for not only the gaither vocal band but a lot of groups and singers that have sung along with them i'm gonna be talking at this very special moment about all my six not five at this time but six most important moments uh, from the Gaither vocal band, the six most remarkable performances made by the Gaither vocal band. And I'm going to talk this time just about those songs that Bill and Gloria wrote and then displayed into the Gaither vocal band. So I'm not actually going to talk about performances made by the Gaither vocal band, but just written by them. There are a few songs that have been performed by the Gaither vocal band but they haven't been written by Bill or Gloria Gaither. So today I'm going to be talking about those six I prefer the most, but they have been written and composed by Gloria and, and Bill Gaither. Once more, I want to invite you to don't miss my next program. It's going to be all about what I just got from the Gaither Vocal Band of Spring Tour in Pasadena, Texas. You cannot miss this program is going to be really special. I have three good questions for Bill Gaither. I just want to hug him and thank him for all what he has printed 
to the gospel music and the music in in a general way to speak. I will dedicate a few programs to the Gaither vocal band as uh, is my favorite vocal band. Bill once uh, said that he chose in his history since the Gaither vocal band, uh, the Gaither trio at the very first time, he talked about uh, he had in the Gaither vocal band probably the best singers in the gospel history and I am pretty sure it is so as he had probably the very greatest first tenor ever, uh, David Phelps. Guy Pimrit, for me, of course, there is a no one that could hold the melody of the vocal group or that can actually go into a level that can afford David Phelps as a first tenor. And what a wonderful thing that Guy Pimrit was that person. In uh, coming programs I want to talk about actually Guy. So my friends, this is going to be great to be in front of the Gaither Vocal Band as they will perform in this spring tour in Pasadena, Texas. I'm so anxious that day is about to come and what a wonderful thing. So let's talk right now about those six moments those six performances, those six songs composed by Bill and Gloria Gaither, and which I actually consider the six best from the Gaither vocal band. As my number six, I need to talk about this wonderful tune. In one of the comments, um, somebody told me, Wordy the Lamb is one of the greatest performances made by David Phelps. And I replied back and I said, I will include Wordy the Lamb in the best of the Gaither vocal band performances. Worthy the Lamb was composed by uh, Bill and Gloria Gaither, and this remarkable tune, accompanied by those wonderful voices in a choir, Worthy the Lamb was performed in Reunited when Bill had, instead of four voices, he started going along in, a, in the vocal band with five voices. And we're talking about Wes Hampton, David Phelps, Michael English, Mark Larry, and Bill Gaither himself. I cannot express but happiness and so much joy in listening to all the voices gathering together. And then David was going along with uh, the arrangements for the song. I love the way they displayed Wordy the Lamb and how powerful the message is transmitted. At the, at the point that Wordy the Lamb was included in the hymnal, and uh, I Don't Judge Him is actually a great, a great song and um, is my number six and is worth the bit because um, the impact of the message, the impact of the song, and the voices that actually perform it is more than amazing. Word of the Lamb, my number six from the Gaither Vocal Band, top six, my favorite performance. <laughs>
That's my number five. This、uh, wonderful song, sung by many, many artists and groups and vocal singers since Bill Gaither wrote it, is this song because he lives. Because he lives has a remarkable and powerful message that reminds us that because he lives, we can face another day. We can、uh, face. The new opportunities of life and freedom that God actually gives us every every single day, because her leaves has been performed by many people, and I have to I have to recognize that they gave their vocal band every time they had a tour all over the world because her leaves was、uh, one of those songs that are, are actually a symbol of Bill and Gloria Gaither. So as my number five, because Leaves gets the biggest credit、uh, for for his for its message and the way that they、um, tells us the message that Jesus is not dead; he is alive. And because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. So thanks, Bill and Gloria Gaither, for this. Powerful and remarkable message. As my number four, I believe that this song is so important, and it takes us to the very place where Jesus died, and that's actually the title of the song. I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary, and I remember the presentation that they had in 1998 in the Atlanta Homecoming, where they had a Big scenario, a big public, and、um, they started to to sing. And then Mark, whom I consider the best very tone ever in the history of the Gaither vocal band, he started after you can listen to all that big harmony for, from the vocal band, and、uh, that end with all the choir on the back once more.、Um, Given all that beautiful melody that actually this type of songs demand,、um, that was more than amazing. Imagine and picture the place just by the way they sing it. What a tremendous opportunity to talk about this vocal group with so much pride and and how wonderful is to say well well I lived in an era. Where good music and good message can be displayed in this wonderful way, I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary, as my number four, is one of those songs that I sing every time I go to my work or I travel, and I reunite with a Gaither vocal band.、Um, they singing, I mean, listening to those videos, and then me singing on the back. And actually, I have to say, the voice I actually like the most in this case is, is Mark Lowry's. 
is a wonderful very tune and the way that he paced his voice with a vocal group is amazing so my friends enjoy number four i believe in a hill come on Cadbury. first heard it in Spanish by a quartet and I really loved that lyric. It is finished. It is finished is my number three and I have to talk in a very special way about this performance that they made in Australia Homecoming. Wow, that was tremendous. It is finished has been sung by many, many artists from all over the world, is one of those gave their vocal band symbols in music, the lyrics, the letter, everything is special about this song. And one of the most important things is that you cannot go by with It Is Finished without having a great first tenor because it gets really high at the very end. And there is actually a part I really love, and is when David, in this case, has to go uh, in an a cappella way at that almost ending part of the song. I just, I just always wanted to try to sing that song. Never could. It's complicated. It seems pretty easy. But, you know, harmonizing it and going to the top and to the place it needs to go sometimes can get a little bit difficult. But what a wonderful gift from from Bill Gaither, Bill and Glory Gaither, to compose It Is Finished, a wonderful, amazing, tremendous symbol from the Gaither vocal band that I will never forget. It declares over and over again, the battle is over. He just won the battle. It's finished. It is finished. A song that is included in my favorite album ever. And I love all the performances they made uh, about It Is Finished in many homecomings or gay the reunions. But the one they made in Australian homecoming in the opera, the Sydney opera, was actually the best one. So that's my number three from my top six K their vocal band favorite performances ever made. Now in my heart the battle was still raging 
Not all prisoners of war had come home. These were battlefields of my own making. Number two, and as a reminder of probably is this is a very established tune. If we ever talk about all the songs that I have been talking about from David before with the Gay the Vocal Band, and now with the Gay the Vocal Band videos I'm gonna be doing, I'm talking actually about Sinner Saved by Grace. The very beginning of the song starts by with Bill making a reflection about how we go into the sinful ways and how sinners we are. But he also remarks at the end that it doesn't matter how much we have sinned in this life, we are sinners saved by the grace of God. And that's just an amazing gift. If it weren't by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ in the cross of Calvary, we wouldn't be able to be sinners saved by grace. So that grace that actually saved us. And what I really, really love about this music is when everything gets very, very high. And I'm talking actually about that wonderful part that gathers that unites the voices of the vocal band and and they express that now we live in freedom just because of the grace of Jesus Christ and the most remarkable word in this song is actually grace that's the last word that's the main message and that's the heart of the song and that is the power of the tune that uh, Bill and Gloria wanted us to have. And my friends, I cannot say anything else, but what a wonderful idea in, in doing Sinner Safe by Grace. I have heard a lot of quartets. I have heard a lot of friends actually performing Sinner Safe by Grace, but there is no way you can listen to those lyric that is any better than the one that they made in the I Do Believe concert. Um, and of course, I just loved it. I really did. And that is why I consider Sinner Safe by Grace as my number two in my favorite Gaither vocal band performances made in the history of the Gaither vocal band. I'm loved and
my friends, before knowing my number one, I want to tell you that one of those things I will try to do this uh, May 11th is try to get all the buckle band. I, I will try to do that to get all the buckle band and and I and I will try to to sing along with the buckle band the the one which I consider as my number one in in this category list and it's actually he touched me. I just wanna seek that moment in which I will find Bill and and Wes and Todd and Jason and uh and Reggie and I wanna I want to just go through and try to do he touched me. I remember that when I very first that my very first times as a singer, um that was my greatest and favorite song of all. I just started over and over and over to sing He Touched Me every time I did something under my shower, driving, walking around in quartets with friends in my home, with my wife, with my kids. And that was an amazing experience to sing He Touched Me. The fact that I consider this song as my first is because I believe to myself that He Touched Me is the very authentic and remarkable, most remarkable symbol of the Gaither vocal band. And more specifically to Bill Gaither, Bill and Gloria Gaither. He Touched Me was even sung by Elvis Presley. It's unbelievable. Bill, I do believe he didn't have the opportunity to meet um, Elvis Presley. But how wonderful a lyric can be that is sung by many artists in the religious and non-religious world. And how important it is to know that he just came around, he just came into you, he just came into your problem, into your suffering, and he touched you. Something actually happened because he touched me and and made me whole. That's important in this message. My friends, my number one in this list is for me, which I consider the greatest song ever made by Bill and Gloria Gaither. And it's actually, he touched me. Many presentations, many performances, many scenarios, many artists for one song, one song that can make your life and my life totally different. And that is why I will be there in Pasadena, Texas. I will seek for Bill Gaither and I will just have printed a wonderful message. I want to hug Bill Gaither. I want to hug that wonderful man. I want to hug that legend, that living legend that God gave him so many years on earth so he can show the world a very important and changing message, uplifting and believable message. You sure. will get the best impression ever. You will get the best message. And that is why, my friends, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you very much for following my message. And I would appreciate if you ever text me, if you want us that we talk about some things and that we analyze any point uh, from the Gaither Vocal Band or Gospel Music or David Phelps, just leave a comment and we will seek what to do uh, about that topic. Thank you so much for coming once again to my channel. Please sus subscribe and share all the content. I will be right back after this May 11th from the Gaither Vocal Band of Spring Tour in Pasadena, Texas. Until next time, I wait you here in the Thomas Savior